All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install this universal hitch on the back of the GT54 LS by Husqvarna. And uh, first thing I always do when I start working is I clean the area. I have a little brush that's dedicated to just getting everything wiped down. Clean my work area. Keep sand and stuff out of your face, out of your eyes. These tires tend to bring in a lot of junk. All right, so here's your main bracket. And it comes with a very simple set of instructions, a bolt, and, and uh, if we can find it, I misplaced it already. Sure did, there it is. So you got your bolt, two washers, a lock nut, I mean a lock washer, and a nut. It's very basic. You're going to install this here, all right, and essentially what's going to happen, you're just going to bolt this down through here, lock it up. Now, the important part is to know I've got these grooves here, so I'm kind of nervous about how well this is going to seat here. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot and see what, remember this is a simple review. I'm not expecting wonders out of this thing because it is a universal fit. Um, but one thing you do need to know, and I'll show you that now, is this this bolt is squared at the head. Okay, so it's actually going to sit in this groove so it doesn't doesn't spin on you. Now, before this goes in, you have a washer. Okay, that is also squared in the center for this top. To, to act as the top washer, okay? So that is how this is gonna assemble. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get closer. So it's just gonna lay in there. Then you got your regular standard uh, flat washer that's gonna go underneath this, then the lock nut or lock washer, and then your regular nut, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and Pop this in there now. My bolt is in place. And it seems to fit. And I'm going to push this back as far as I can get it and keep it flat as possible. The flat washer, the lock washer, and then the nut. I'm going to snug it up so it's just sitting there in place. Alright. So now, basically, I'm going to crank it down. I'm going to check for any imperfections here. And then we're going to go in. There we go. Loosen that up. Get it kind of nice there. And just finger snug it. Okay good enough for now. Now I'm going to look at installing the bracket which is going to require probably some drilling here. So let me look at that and I'll get back to you.